Linux Mint is often considered by many as the most reliable Linux distribution. But why? In this video, we are going to find out why Linux Mint is such a great Linux distro and why you should try it, especially if you are a beginner or an experienced Linux user. This is Linux Mint in 7 minutes. Linux Mint was originally created in 2006 by a French developer known as Clem, and now, 15 years later, this distro has cemented itself as one of the best ones available, due to some simple reasons. Linux Mint is an out-of-box distribution, which means that it does not need any additional configuration to work on it. It is oriented on absolute beginners, people who just started using Linux, and is one of the best first distributions that are available. However, experienced Linux users also prefer Mint due to its reliability and simplicity. Reliability and simplicity, you say? Well, Linux Mint is Debian-based, which makes it rock-stable. It's a stable release, and the recent Linux Mint 20 LTS, which stands for Long Time Support, will be updated and maintained until April 2025, when the new LTS version will come out. So you have a bunch of time to play around with this distro. To run it, you just need 2GB of RAM and 20GB of free disk space, which is way less than Windows needs, making it a great replacement of Windows for older machines. The package manager is apt, and even though the distro is Ubuntu-based, Snap is not supported in Linux Mint. Also, it comes pre-installed with a bunch of open source and proprietary drivers for a lot of stuff, including NVIDIA, so if you are a new user, Linux Mint can work out of the box on nearly any computer. About the desktop environments, or simply GUIs, graphical user interfaces, there are three available. Cinnamon, Mate and XFCE, with Cinnamon being the heaviest one, using about 800 MB of RAM, and XFCE being the lightest one, with only about 500. All of them are very similar to Windows, so if you are a beginner, every desktop environment here will suit you. And if you are more experienced, well, you know what to do. The system installer here is Ubiquity, which is the same one we see in Ubuntu. It's simple and it allows you to install the system in about 15 to 20 minutes. Hey, I took 15 seconds out of the video to tell you about my biggest project yet. I am currently developing a Steam release called The Best. The release date is out soon, so wishlist would be very appreciated. Also, I plan on posting the devlog here when I release it. As always, if you're liking the video so far, consider subbing, and I have a Patreon link with bonuses down below if you're interested. Thank you, back to the video. Linux Mint comes with a bunch of pre-installed software, including image viewers, media players, Firefox, and even Office programs. There's a lot of library office here. It also has a cool tool called Warpinator, which lets you share files across the LAN network. You are also greeted by a welcome app at your first boot, which introduces you to a system customization and system snapshots using timeshift. So if your system breaks, you have a couple of snapshots to revert to and still work on them. There is also a driver manager, which helps you manage your drivers if any of them fall behind, which is especially handy for a new Linux user. Another tool is an update manager, which helps you control when there are new updates or fixes via this icon in the bottom bar. Software manager allows you to install some additional software without actually using the terminal, which might be handy while you're only getting used to your Linux distribution. And of course, firewall. No viruses here. But if it seems like too little of a guidance, Linux Mint's official website has all of the guides you may ever need to get used to the system. This includes the install guide, the user guide, the troubleshooting guide, and even the developer guide and the translation guide, if you want to help the Linux Mint team develop their product. And if you are still feeling a little overwhelmed, the Linux Mint community is very big and helpful. There's a Linux Mint forum, which has been accumulating different solutions to problems since 2006. They also have their own GitHub, Reddit, and a Discord server, where tons of Linux Mint enthusiasts are ready to help you with any problem you may face. So, this is the part of the video where I talk about my own experience with using Linux Mint, 
Personally, I found it a little difficult to adapt to apt, but it's basically because I haven't used any non-arch based distro before, so all I know is Pacman. Besides that, this system has really been working as my backup system really well, as it, and it did not require any configuration at all to use it. All I installed was ZSH and Kitty Terminal emulator and basically that's it. Even to record this video here, the system did not require much configuration, as all of the drivers were already installed and all I needed to do was set up the microphone and OBS. Generally, because of the desktop environments available, the system feels very much Windows-like, but it uses a lot less resources. It's also 100% concentrated on the user and lets you customize the looks and feel of the entire system. So if you are looking for a distribution to start your Linux journey from, Linux Mint is definitely the one. And if it is not your first time on Linux, you are obviously free to install any other desktop environments and window managers to turn the system into your own powerhouse. What is also worth noting is despite Linux Mint 20 being directly based on Ubuntu 2004, it does not include Snap, which a lot of people hate for obvious reasons. I mean, you can still use it, but you are much better off with using App here. It's also worth saying that it comes with Grub Bootloader by default, which should detect other OS like Windows and other Linux distros. In my case, I have my Linux Mint on a USB flash drive, and when plugged in, it can detect all of the OS that are currently on my computer, which is sometimes very handy. The overall takeaway is, Linux Mint is a reliable Linux distribution that you can always count on, and a great start to your Linux journey as a beginner. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, wishlist my game, and subscribe for more Linux.